Hello runners and welcome back to Test Drive. So we are jumping back in for another episode of Expeditions, a mud runner game. So as you can see, we have completed Little Colorado. That was basically just like the tutorial area. If we jump into Little Colorado, you can see we pretty much completed all of these. And we do have some free roam stuff that we could get done, but we are not going to be doing that for this video and for this episode. So I've kind of figured that we're going to be focusing more on the actual expeditions rather than the free roam stuff. If you would like to see some free roam stuff, do let me know down in the comment section below. But for this one, we are going to be jumping into Arizona to start expedition number one. But if you do like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and of course get yourself subscribed so that you never miss a video. But with all that being said and done, let's jump into Arizona and see what we can get done. So everything is locked at the minute. Go over to the desert, also everything locked. And everything's locked in there as well. And everything's locked in there. So where is the... Can we not go to... Uh, Arizona? I'm not seeing anything that's unlocked at the minute. Oh, there we go. Contest of the Frontier. So this is going to be the first objective. Let's have a little read of what, what's going on. And here is the first serious contract. The government has lost cargo near our field base and asked to return it back. You can deliver it to the base. What? That does not... No. English. Come on. And here is the first contract. The government lost a cargo near our field base and asked to return it back. You can deliver it to the base and then we will figure out how to send it to the recipient. Okay, that is not very good English. It is English nonetheless. We have 200 so, or 2,700 to get all the equipment. We also get almost 5,000. And also we get some rewards. We get Mike Nixon. And what else do we get? We also get the heavy bull bar bumper. And we get an extra 500 if we take less than 200 damage. So go back into it because i accidentally come out of it so yeah we're heading over to the grand canyon in arizona so firstly we need to decide what truck to take does it have any requirements so it has a requirement of one anchor and one jack screw um it recommends taking a scout so with that being said the only truck we have not used so far is of course the lodestar so that is the truck that we are going to be taking out and we need to customize it how do we customize it um hello f there we go so this is our collection that is the truck store gotcha all right let's customize the lodestar See what we can get. We can get a better engine. Might as well. We'll get that. And we shall sell the old one. That's going to give us a power rating of S+. Plus. Gearbox. I guess we'll just get the fine tune. And then we'll sell the old one. Suspensions. We don't have any suspension upgrades. Might as well get some better tyres. Because we're probably going to need them. Winches. Oh, we might as well get the extended winch. Get rid of the old one. Did we sell the old tires? We did. Snorkel. Let's get some twin snorkels going. Alright, what do we have in terms of actual like uh, body upgrades? Uh, we don't have any of the large or medium reserves. We could get an external roll cage. A steel tube frame that reinforces the structural rigidity of the vehicle provides additional crash protection. That sounds incredibly helpful. Uh, window guards. Uh, yeah, we might as well get the window guards. Oh, we let's get the heavy. Well, let's get the braced. No, let's get the heavy window guards. Provides no crash protection at all. Incoming debris. Okay. Well, we might as well. We have the money. Reinforced fenders. Or heavy fenders. Provides decent crash protection. So... We are definitely going to be getting that one. All right. What do we have on the rear? Rear mounted rack. Uh, or pickup beds. We 
can't get the pickup beds. I guess we're going to be getting the rear mounted rack. Because that is basically all we can get right now. On the roof, we can get a metal detector. You know what? We might as well. We might as well get the metal detector. Because we don't actually have like a roof rack or anything. So. Searchlight. I mean, I guess. Stock bumper. Extended sun visor. Or just a normal sun visor. It's a shame you can't like move the uh the camera around when you're in this mode uh extended sun visor i guess we'll get that one stock bumper all we're gonna get we don't get the reinforced or the big reinforced rims we do not care about let's see what paint job we got kind of like a is, is that a stegosaurus yeah let's go for the stegosaurus why not got a couple of these are down here but Ah, we'll go for the Stegosaurus. So yeah, that is the truck ready. Um, inventory. Hide description. What else do we need? Uh, I think that's it. Right. Go back. Why didn't it select it? Load star. Add. There we go. Alright, inventory. We need some of those. It's a shame we only we only need one, but it's giving us two. And we also need an anchor. Yeah. We don't have any sideboards, so we can't stick any of that on the sideboard. And guess we sh uh, we should really have some fuel, like extra fuel. If we buy this. Where does that actually go? Let's buy it. Oh, we can't buy it. Okay, these are only for the sideboards. Okay, gotcha. Didn't we have... Uh, let's customize again. Didn't we have a rear-mounted pack? Yeah, what is that for? We've got three slots up here. Ah, three slots down here. Okay. So let's fill these in with, I don't know... We'll have one fuel, one spare parts, and I guess two spare wheels. Guess that works. Okay, I think we are ready to go. Let's check everything real quick. Looks like we're good. Should we get any logistics? Outpost, binoculars, no. I... Marks, binoculars, or drone. Uphill or downhill? I eh, don't really, don't really feel like that's worth it. I would like to get this manager or ex excavations one free. No, let's let's leave it for now. We don't need any team. Yeah, I think we're ready, so let's jump in and see what we have in Arizona. Okay, so here we are. In the dead of night. Trades. What can we trade? So they have fuel and spare parts and wheels. Uh, yeah, we don't really need anything of those. Got a lot of stuff we can build, though. Over here, I'm going to guess these are still modular buildings building modules yeah we've, we've still only got the essentials okay fair enough all right where do we need to go we need to go down to this conquest of the frontiers so let's head on over that way oh I sh we should probably since we have it on top we should probably do the metal detector. But yeah, we've got, what, scrap over there. Um, jack screws over there. All I can see right now, there is a upgrade. Like, way over there. That's probably what that is. Okay, let's check the map real quick, see if that opened up anything. 
it did not. Okay, but at least we know there is an upgrade over in that direction. But we'll probably get that at some point. Let's turn on the all-wheel drive. Oh, it doesn't have all-wheel drive. Okay. I see you. Stage completed. Seems we don't have many options for leaving the base. Let's take a look around. Okay, where do we need to go now? What's that? Oh, I said I probably shouldn't, but... We are going to briefly... Oh, maybe I could track it with the actual... Yeah, let's take the drone up. Let's turn off the engine. And let's take the drone. So there was a task or something up here. Something over here? Anything over here? Doesn't look like... Wow, look at that. Look at that. Looks absolutely beautiful. There is something over there. It's a shame you can't really see it. We're not going to get close enough to see that. But yeah, I can't see what that was supposed to be. It does say it's locked. New friend. Yeah, no. It doesn't say. Oh, we have to visit a waypoint. Okay, well, let's go, view, let's go visit the waypoint. Or the viewpoint. Kind of the way it was in Snowrun, actually. You get the watchtowers. I'm guessing this is it right here. There we go. From here, you have a great view. Might be try, might be worth checking everything out with the binoculars. We are going to do that. However, we are going to skip time so that we can actually see a little bit better. What is that? Look for a way down. Oh god! Start scanning. Okay, so this is like a viewpoint, maybe. Or is this just to get a little bit of more of a reading? It does look like it is a, a viewpoint. Part of the actual contest or con conquest. This totem points to the safe path. Should be helpful, so keep an eye out. Okay, so we have to look out for totems as well. Interesting. But explore the area 26%. Well, let's try out the binoculars. See if we can see anything else. Oh, we have a plane over there. Look at that. Crash plane. Can we see anything else? There's our little friend. I think we just need to have a look around. You see the, uh, the percentage is there. So that is our way up, apparently. I'm guessing over there. Go, go around. And maybe up there. Okay, but we know our route, so we need to go over there down by the totem pole. And then we discover a way up on the other side. Okay, should we go through the little... No, let's go around. Around looks much safer. Yeah, I've got to say, I am enjoying using the Lodestar. It doesn't seem as overpowered as it did in SnowRunner. So that's a positive. So this is the next location. Looks like a difficult climb, but if you're lower, you... No, but if you lower your tire pressure, you notice a difference right away. Indeed, we will. However... I'm going to take a slightly easier route. But I don't think it is quite as bad over here. So we're going to come over here. Try and hug 
the road or hug the rock cliff, we discovered a new climb. And we didn't even need to adjust the tire pressure. Look at that. Absolutely no problem. Perfect. Okay, so we need to pick up the cargo equipment box. I have no idea where that is going to be, but we are going to metal detect while we're here. So we have some jack screws right there. We also have some jack screws over there. Okay, can we actually see where that is going to be? Let's load it or let's close it up real quick. Okay, so we need to go basically down here and across there. I think that is actually where the uh, jack screws were. So it's a good job we highlighted that. There's another airdrop over there. Almost like we should actually go and get that airdrop. But we have already climbed the hill, so... No, we don't want to go up. We want to go down. So let's make our way down this way. Seems fairly doable. Maybe a little bit over to the left. But it's interesting this truck does not come with all-wheel drive. I really thought it would. I'm pretty sure it was always all-wheel drive in SnowRunner. Okay, let's lower those tire pressures a little bit. See if that's going to help. Not really. Lower them a little bit more. What are we stuck on? You seem to have bottomed out. Can we get it back? Yes, we can. Beautiful stuff. Take a little bit more momentum. Come on. Try a little bit of a lower gear. Still don't have diff lock either. Nope, that is not working. Try and get it back out. Try and get it up, see if we can get a better route in. Come on, there we go. Okay, I think we're up. Oh, it's very, very muddy though, even up here. Very muddy. We've not got a lot of speed at all. Gonna try and see if we can use this rock. There we go. There we go. That works. Now we can increase those pressures again. Make our way over to the first pickup point. We should be just over this corner. There we go. 20 meters. Oh, there it is over there. I forgot I put an extra one in. But anyway, we have made it to the first pickup location. Right, what do you got? So we're going to take... Ah, uh, if Jack screws, I, I don't really feel like I need them. I'm going to have to take the equipment box. We'll take all of this as well. <clears throat> and should we fill up on fuel? I guess we should. Fill up as much as we can. I haven't got any more room for repair points. Right, what is the next objective? Deliver the cargo equipment box to... I'm going to guess base. So that is just a case of going back the way we came. Let's check the map real quick because I'm not too sure about that. Yeah, we've got to go back, Lee. Basically, back to camp. Okay. Well, I shall head on over there and I'll meet you there. 
Okay, we made it back to base. I did also go past the other little uh, airdrop because there was some more bone fema, like dinosaur bones. But let's go in and trade a stall, I guess. So they, we can sell these. So let's sell all of the bones. It's going to give us a little bit of money. And equipment box can't be sold. And scrap metal can't be sold either. If we go back to the base model module, we can move the scrap metal over to that. And can we transfer? We can transfer that, but I guess we need to give that to a certain location. Maybe. Yeah, we need to basically just follow this this path. However, I was just thinking, since we're here, and we did have uh, an upgrade somewhere. Actually, let's turn back on the engine and go into our devices. Metal detector. No. Metal detector. And let's scan again real quick. Okay, so we've got an upgrade over that direction. Okay. So so in that direction. Which means if we take the drone, we should be able to see exactly where it is. Because if we can get an upgrade this early on, there we go. That looks like an upgrade, doesn't it? Supplies. How on earth are we going to get to that? I feel like maybe... Oh, I, I don't even know how we're going to get to that. We get around, maybe? I think maybe going around would be the best bet. So I think... Yeah, that looks like the way to go. Can we maybe squeeze through there? No. But yeah, I think we're going to quickly try and get this upgrade. Just got stuck on this little lip. Doesn't actually look like we're stuck on anything, if I'm honest. No, definitely doesn't look like we're stuck on anything. Try a little bit over to the left here. There we go. That was much better. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Are we even going to be able to make that? Or is this a stupid idea? This looks like a very stupid idea. We're going to leave it for now. We're going to leave it for now. We'll, we'll go... We're going to deliver this cargo box. And we might have to... At least we know where it is. So if we look on the map, that should have... Pinged it up, maybe? Got an airdrop down there. No, but we know it's somewhere around here. Maybe it's better to go all the way around. Maybe. Who knows? We might go that way anyway for a different expedition. But for now, we are going to focus on this one and get back to base. So that's a building module and this one is also a building module and then we should have one more which is going to be the delivery location and deliver the supplies uh there we go and expedition is complete we we'll get like what five thousand for that one Beautiful stuff, and that is going to unlock a whole lot more. So let's continue to the headquarters. So back into Arizona. 
Then we've got squatters rights. We would like to visit we would like you to visit one of the remarkable places in this region. Unfortunately, it is remarkable not for its beauty, but for but on the contrary. It is a crashed rusty plain that spoils locals' views and further scare off tourists. We estimate the cost of its disposal, so it needs to be carefully examined. Okay, and for that we have logistics specialists. What else do we get? Oh, no, 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 no. I guess we could see it from here, actually. So we get a operator, a cane, a shidi. We also get the workshop unlocked. So recover the truck less than three times is 1000. Take less than 200 damage and recognize at least three unknown points on the map. Okay. And we also get an upgrade. And we get a new outpost. Nice. So we need to take our logistics person with us, Connor Erickson. We're going to add him. Uh, what else do we need? Probably should have took David Simmons on the previous one. Oh, we've got Mike Nielsen. He gives us more anchors and more setup radius. So 100% setup radius and minus 30% damage. A mountaineering instructor from Utah, Mike also works part time as a mechanic to save enough money for the truck of his dreams. If you can't solve a problem with a good winch, you just need a longer cable. Oh, that would be handy. How much is he going to cost? 600. Uh, I don't think we need anyone else. Let's just take Connor with us. So for this one, what truck do we need? Uh, scouts. Let's go over to our scouts. Got the Tuz, we've got the Canyon. Actually, let's go and fully upgrade the Don. See if that is going to help matters. So we can get an external roll cage. Might well get that. Only 2000. Composite fenders. We don't have many upgrades, if I'm honest. Uh, reinforced bumper. We can sell the old one. We've already sold it, apparently. Metal detector. I guess we should probably use the metal detector again. Front, we have nothing available. Okay, so it is pretty much upgraded. Get a better, get a better gearbox. Suspension, we might as well get the lift kit. Sell the old one. Tires. Winches, we can get the extended. Okay, and I think we are good to go. But with a little bit of a different paint scheme. So I think we are good. Can't get anything else, right? No. So rear. We get some more fuel. Or more spare parts. I feel like the fuel is going to be more useful, so we'll buy a little bit of fuel. And yeah, I think that's it. Inventory, what do we need from the inventory? Let's have a look real quick. I forgot. Inventory, we don't actually need anything, so we're not going to take anything. So let's deploy. At the field operation base. Right, here we are. Visit, exit from the base. I have to admit, the English... Like, I don't know if the... I think the developers... Like, pretty good at English. Doesn't seem that way, though. If I'm honest, some of these translations are... Leaving a little bit to be desired. We do have all-wheel drives on this one. So there is the first location. Visit viewpoint. So this one, new task. It's always good to see a fresh face around here. Why don't you? Why don't I show you around? 
It's easy to get lost if you're not familiar with the area. I've been here forever. Okay, where do we need to go for that? Okay, so we need to go basically all around the map. Okay. But since we're here, I am kind of thinking that we should probably at least try to get that upgrade. Something like that, maybe. But I do think this is going to be a better route to get that upgrade from. And I think the actual expedition is going to be quite short, so I think we've got the time to do it. This is just a much better and smaller scout, so it's going to be much easier to get through these tight little gaps through here. Make our way up this tiny little slope. Get caught on a cactus there. But I do think we need to actually go up. This might little this might be a little bit hairy. There we go, I thought so. Oh Jesus. Well, there's our first roll. I mean, we're still on the wheels, surprisingly. I don't think we can fit underneath that. We might still be able to reverse up. Let's actually just reduce the tire pressure. Come on, camera. Work with me here. There we go. We just reverse up. Yeah, no problem. Might have been a little bit scary in the cab, but we did manage to make it work. I'm not sure reversing all the way up is going to work, though. I just don't see how we're supposed to get up there. No winch points at all. Let's go out in the drone again. If we go... Let's just find out where we are. If we go down... We'll then find a way up, maybe? It doesn't really look like it, does it? I honestly don't know if this upgrade is worth it. I don't even know what the upgrade is. But let's try it and make our way back over. We don't have any anchors. We can't even use that. And down we go again. Do we have any jack screws we don't have anything so you know what we are actually going to recover back to the garage help us some gates build operation yeah let's recover and let's put that one behind us that is a learning experience let's focus on the actual expedition we can always come back and get those upgrades once we have better trucks available. So the, view the viewpoint was somewhere around here. I think it was basically the same viewpoint as we had in the last one. Which is just down there. Just managed to see it before we went into the map. There we go. Okay, what do we need now? 
From here, you can already see our goal. Look for your binoculars. Yeah, the the plane. Yeah, we've already seen it. It's like right there. But we can have a look through the binoculars anyway. There it is. So let's start tracking what we need to be doing. No, we don't want to. That's new friends. We want to track the actual expedition. Okay, so we need. To, what's that? That's a climb. What is right? That's also a climb. Okay, so I guess just down here. Get rid of all the waypoints. Down here, maybe. Make our way over here somewhere. Again, it's very rough. And then I guess we're going up towards the plane. Something like that. Put the headlights on. And away we go. So I hope you are all enjoying expeditions. I'm actually having a lot of fun. Definitely something a little bit different from SnowRunner. So there is a lot to get used to. But so far so good. We have made our way over. I think just need to get through this tight little gap here. Yeah, easy peasy. Definitely think we chose the good scout for this one. I wonder what we need to do to actually remove the plane or whether we're just... Oh god, that was a lot of damage. Whether we're just the one scouting it maybe. And then someone else is coming to clean it up. Who knows. Conduct a visual inspection of the plane. Looks like a plane where we can go through... Get. It looks like a place where we can get up close to the plane, basically. Is what I was trying to say. But yeah, we just need to go up here and get eyes on the actual plane. Start scanning. Oh, we missed it. Looks like we need more data. Try again to complete the process. Try again. There we go. That was much better. Quite a fun little mini game, I guess. Looks like someone's living inside the plane. Yeah, there you go. Success. Someone is living inside the crashed plane. Where did he get his food? Who knows? Drive up to the cliff. You mean this cliff right here? I guess so. Now what? Explore the area with the drone. Turn off the engine. Objective discovered. I'm not really too sure what I'm supposed to be exploring, if I'm honest. It doesn't really give much detail. Ready a Where am I supposed to be going? Forty three, forty five, forty eight, fifty one, fifty four. We've only explored 54%, 56%. Okay, so we need to explore all of this. Basically. What's that? New friends? And shooting the wind. Or shooting wild. Okay, what do we need for shooting wild? Find an airdrop to resupply. Okay. We'll do that later. That's the wrong button. Uh, take out the drone.
And then I guess we just need to go as far as we can. Something like that. Sixty-three percent. We are slowly doing it, at least. They can have a long time though. What's that over there? But how much have we done now? I mean, I can't even get over there. So let's try the binoculars, maybe. Zoom out. There we go. Examine the traces of the wreck. What? Oh, the traces. Ah, there. Okay, we can do that. Expedition complete. Recognize at least three unknown points on the map. Ah, uh, we didn't do that. Are you serious? Recognize at least three unknown points on the map. I don't even know what that means. Anyway, let's head on back to the headquarters. Because I think that is going to do it for this episode. So we did another two expeditions. We did the contest for conquest of the frontier and squatters rights and in the next episode we will be doing fallen from heaven and probably in, in order to preserve but yeah that is going to do it from this for this episode i really hope you enjoyed arizona don't forget to hit the like button if you are enjoying the series and of course get yourself subscribed so that you never miss a video but yeah, like I said, that is going to do it for me. A massive thank you for watching and for liking. And I will see you in the next video. Take care and goodbye.